so any more trainers out and about? Oh, there is one. Research, research. I shall research the Pokemon. This guy seems a tad obsessive. Maybe he's had too much coffee. Maybe he stayed up too late. Yeah, but you you don't seem healthy, dude. You need to calm down. Arkin! My respect for you just went up. You've got some of the most awesome Pokemon ever on your side. I don't know if Nuru can can cope. But as you all probably know, with Arkin, all you gotta do is make its HP drop at about half. And then you got nothing to worry about. And even after a scary face, I'm still faster. Sorry, Arkin, but it had to be done. Next is Shield On. That's bad, I think, because it's a steel type. Okay, let's try a pollen puff. That didn't actually do too much. Um, that wasn't actually too bad. I can just struggle bug and then finish it with pollen puff. All right. Or I could finish it with another struggle bug. That is a really cool sound. Of course, to Nuru, it probably sounded like nails on a chalkboard. But there we are. I find it kind of disappointing that there aren't any new fossil Pokemon in Alola. But that's to be expected. I mean, I think Hawaii is a rather new um, series of islands. Like, I mean, new as in they're young in um, geologic terms. They were formed fairly recently. So there wouldn't be any like dinosaur bones or anything to be found on Hawaii. But, uh, but they do reuse some old a relatively forgotten fossil Pokemon. So there's that. Speaking of fossils, I believe this is where you can go to restore them. Welcome to the dream park, where dreams become reality and fossils become Pokemon. Someday this whole place is going to be filled with the bursting with Pokemon from the ancient past. That's my dream for this, the dream park, to bring the ancient world back to life. Looks, um... Looks like you got yourself a pretty fine dig site here. Thunderstone, nice. That will be for Raiden to evolve him into Raichu. There's this dude near here, near here who says that he wants to make a whole theme park full of nothing but Pokemon restored from fossils. That is a bad idea. They made a whole movie about that. Four movies. They made four movies about that, and it never ended well. Never ended well. I'm sorry. What am I doing in the Pokemon Center? My Pokemon don't need healing. Am I just being an idiot? Probably. Uh, there's a motel I can check out. Let's do that before fighting the trainers. I'm afraid we've got no vacancies today. Especially not with that room two, do two doors down being rented out non-stop all this time. The boy staying there paid up two years worth of nights when he first got here. Though he's not so free with cash now as he used to be. Seems like Team Skull doesn't pay well enough to live off of. Gladian, huh? So I guess we'll check out his play. I guess this is where he lives when he's not doing stuff for Team Skull. Yeah, sure enough, there he is, just chilling. Get out. That has got to be the single most blunt line in the entire franchise. But no, we, f we got to find out a little bit more about Gladion. 
he's homeless, and apparently he used to have a lot of money, but it's all gone now. And he's been staying there for two freaking years. Two years with no home. That's gotta be rough. No wonder his clothes are all scratched up. So some random chick with a golf club decided to take a swing at me. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, anyway. Bad puns aside. We're just gonna take you down right here with my super effective pollen puff. Nuru just destroys everything now that he's fully evolved. Alright, next. Next up on the chopping block. When it comes to golf or Pokemon, it's all about the performance. Alright, I'll take your word for it. I don't play golf, so I don't know. Alan. Isn't that the name of the guy who beat Ash in the Kalos League last season? At least that's what his name was in the Japanese version. I can't remember if they kept it the same in English. They probably didn't keep it the same in English, but it's a, at least it's a similar name. Rip Rockruff. Alright, so anything else we can do? Those Wimpod always run away before I can nab one. And even if you catch up to one, they still try to distract you by dropping items they've gathered, and then they run away again. So it seems like we can catch ourselves... ...some Wimpod over here. There is one right there. But unfortunately, it's way too fast for you to pursue on foot. So, the only other available option is to grab uh, a ride Pokémon and go after them that way. And then even then, when you're in the middle of a battle, if you get them down to half health, they will run away. Oh, wild Pokémon? I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I just moved Erikari into a... another slot because she's kind of low on health right now. Um, nothing there but an item, and I think there's a couple of trainers, sure enough. I'm training together with the genius next to me in order to beat him. Okay, so the adult is taking lessons from the kid. Definitely odd. And they both have Machop. Should be easy. Nuru and Plague, my miraculous duo. Let's give it to him. Draining Kiss for one Machop. And you know what? Won't even see it coming for the other Machop. So we'll kiss you to death. Probably a pretty humiliating way to go, if you ask me. And here we go, let's do that dance. You guys are gonna feel this in the morning. Inferno Overdrive. Yeah, you better believe he's not getting up after that. We just straight up dropped a nuke on him. That, that's humiliating. It's, it's a whole new level of humiliating. You know, maybe if we approach from this side, we could ambush that, um, Wimpod, and it won't be able to go back into its hole. 
Or it's not even here. <laughs> I thought it would like respawn after I got finished with the trainers. So Lush Jungle is this way, and we're back on Route 5. But since we're back on Route 5, we should try to clear out uh, some of the trainers that are now available to us. Let's give it a shot, why don't we? Okay, uh, don't go down that ledge. Alright, wild Pokemon. I think we are supposed to go down that ledge, actually. It's a Alolan Diglett. I wonder why they made it a steel type. It just it doesn't make any sense to me. Just okay, it's sprouted hair. How does that make it a steel type? I think it has something to do with volcanoes or something. I'm not actually quite sure. Um, I think we go this way. Yep, here we go. There's a trainer here. We'll deal with you. Alola, I'm Caleb. Let's give each other a look at our Pokemon. You're probably the first trainer who's ever given me a proper greeting and introduction before battle. You are a quite a polite little kid. <gasps> charge a bug. I love charge a bug. The little bug bus. I love the little meep meep he gives when he uh, does his cry. That is so cute. Plus, as I've said before, it is a decent Pokemon. Alright, finish you off. There we are. Weep, weep. So cute. Absolutely adorable. Your Pokemon's so cool. I definitely had the better bug there. So there's a cell right over there, but I'm not going to bother with that. A trainer over there, but... Oh! Ambush. Here I go. N nothing else to say? Alright. I dig. Ace Trainer Alexis. Two Pokemon. What have we got? <gasps> Gumi! Gumi's a pretty cool one. Unfortunately for you, I'm a fairy type. And Bide cannot save you. I'm sorry. And one struggle bug will do the trick. Definitely on the verge of leveling up. But okay, so next is Sylveon. So I think I'll switch over to Arikari. Or not Arikari, sorry, Thunderclap. Thunderclap. That's who I want. Alright, you got your own fairy type, it seems. Interesting. But as usual, we're gonna air cutter our way to victory. And that is quite tanky. Fortunately, we're quite tanky as well. If we can get a critical hit, that would be great. That is a funny little sound effect that doo -doo 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 of the Swift. Oh god. This actually gets stabbed. But one more air cutter will do the trick. Give it to him! There we are. Level 27 for Thunderclap! It is indeed over. OK, 
Okay, so the only one who's yet to level up is Arakari, and she is a little bit low on health. So I'll be sure to take it cautiously with her. Hyper Potion. That'll definitely help. Alright, this guy. This hiker over here. So, what do you think of the largeness of my area? It's physically impossible to say that with a straight face. Largeness of my area, indeed. Oh my god. Mudbray. Alrighty. I guess we're gonna pluck it. Pluck my life. S oh, crud. Oh my god. Am I gonna have to heal again? I think I will. Um, let's... Hold on. Let's just use this fresh water. I don't think I need a, an actual super potion. I just need to survive one more stomp. Double- oh. Crap. Double kick. This is problematic. Maybe I can one-hit KO it with Pluck. Oh, I actually did it. Wow. I honestly did not expect that to work. Large scale trainer indeed. Alrighty then. Moving on. Oh, I didn't even see that coming. So, uh, either. Cool. Um, that should be all for Route 5. So, what that means. When I come back, I'll be able to fight that one trainer. The one with, um... That, uh... That would only fight me if I defeat all the other trainers on Route 5. Alright, so we'll heal up our Pokémon, of course. We need that. And I am nearly out of recording time, so I'm gonna have to call it quits here. So we ended up getting a lot done in this recording session. We finished up the water trial. We did the fire trial with Kiawe. Um, um, cleared a bunch of routes. We participated in a battle royal, which was fun. So we saw Gladian a few more times, which was interesting. But uh, other than that, nothing much happened. Next time, I will be participating in the grass trial in Lush Jungle. And when I next see you, I will have also acquired a Stuffle for that uh, Aether Foundation girl, as she requested. So, with that, farewell and many great goodbyes. This has been Cottonmouth255, the Spore Serpent, and I'll see you again soon for more Pokemon Moon. See you later, have a good day, and take it easy, my friends.